In this MapSuite MVC Edition sample app walkthrough, we're going to show you how you can create a spatial index for a shapefile feature layer. Now, spatial indexes can be very valuable to get added performance to your application when using shapefiles, especially if your uh, shapefiles are large in nature or contain very complex um, features. And what MapSuite will do is it'll create an archery index that allows it to seek the file in a much quicker fashion to retrieve those to be rendered on the map. Um, and improve performance a great deal. This sample is very, uh, very simple. Really, all we have is a build spatial index button, which is going to do an AJAX callback to the server and execute this code right here. And uh, what you can see is, is we've got a shapefile feature layer, which is a class that's available in MapSuite, and it actually has a static method on it called build index file. And so this allows you, if you want to write a little utility to build index file for all your shape files, very easily you can just by looping through your direct directory and doing so in accordingly. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and build uh, an index file for uh, this country02 shape file, which contains the country outlines. So this build index file just takes a path of where your shape file resides. And then it's got another enumeration here of on a build index mode. Uh, so if it's going to check and see if an index already exists. And if not, in this case, it will not rebuild it. Of course, you can change this to rebuild, so it would always replace it and uh, update your index. One thing to be aware of is if you're editing shape files and you're actually adding or editing or deleting any of the features within it, you'll always want to rebuild your index file accordingly so it matches your source data. Um, I hope this information has been helpful. Uh, I would highly recommend building indexes for all your shapefile feature layers because you'll get added performance uh, within your application. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us, or you can post your questions directly on our discussion forums at thinkgeo.com/forums. Thank you for watching.